Background. Growing up, my father, Robert, was a self-made man who built a successful business from the ground up. After my mother passed away, he remarried, and I gained a stepsister, Clara. Initially, I was happy for him, but after Clara's mother passed away, Clara became increasingly involved in my father's life, often trying to control his decisions. Despite this, I remained close to my father and was actively involved in his business. The story. When my father fell ill, Clara moved into his house, ostensibly to care for him. I visited often, but Clara made it clear that she considered herself in charge. One afternoon, as my father napped, Clara approached me and said we needed to discuss the will because Dad wanted to make some changes. I responded that Dad and I had already discussed his will and it was settled, but Clara insisted he had been reconsidering and that she was handling it. Suspicious, I decided to speak with my father when we were alone. He reassured me that he hadn't changed anything and that Clara must be mistaken. Still, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. A week later, my father passed away. I was devastated, but there was no time to grieve. Clara immediately announced that she was the sole beneficiary of my father's estate. Determined to uncover the truth, I contacted my close friend and lawyer, Lily, and explained everything. Lily said we needed to see the will and that if Clara was lying, we could contest it. When we requested to see the will, Clara produced a document that left everything to her. The will appeared genuine, complete with my father's signature. Lily said it didn't make sense and we needed more evidence. I decided to search my father's house for any clues. In his study, hidden behind old books, I found a small locked box. Inside, I discovered an earlier will, clearly written by my father, leaving the estate to me. I showed the will to Lily. She said this was crucial and that we needed to have it authenticated. We had the will authenticated, and it was indeed legitimate. We took the matter to court, presenting the original will as evidence. Clara was livid and fought back with an expensive lawyer, claiming the older will was invalid. During the trial, we hired a private investigator who uncovered a shocking revelation. Clara had bribed my father's lawyer to forge a new will. The investigator found emails and financial records linking, linking Clara to the bribery. In court, the judge examined the evidence, including testimonies from handwriting experts and witnesses who knew my father's intentions. The judge ruled that the evidence indicated the new will was forged, reinstating the original will that left the estate to me. Furthermore, charges would be brought against Clara for fraud and perjury. Clara was taken into custody, facing serious charges for her actions. I felt a sense of relief and justice as the judge's decision was made. Lily said I did it and stood up for my father's wishes and exposed the truth. I thanked Lily, saying I couldn't have done it without her help. With the legal battle behind me, I was finally able to grieve my father properly. The home and business he built remained in the family, and I felt at peace, knowing his legacy was preserved. Edit, thanks for all the support and advice. To answer a few questions, the business is thriving and I'm planning to expand it in my father's honor. Clara is facing trial and justice will be served. It's been a tough journey, but I'm grateful for the outcome. Thank you for your kind words and encouragement.